Hello everyone. Welcome to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to see one logarithmic equation from J preparation. Equation is log cot x base cos x plus 4 log tan x base sin x is equal to 1. We have to find the value of sin x. So let's get started. Let's start by the property of log that is log a base b can be written as change of base property it is log a over log b with base 10. Here base was b now base is 10 change of base property. So once I will apply that property equation will be written as log cortex over log cos x plus 4 times log tan x over log sin x equal to 1. Now let's take LCM. So I will write log sin x log cortex plus 4 times log tan x log cos x equal to log sin x times log cos x. Now second property of logarithmic will come into the picture that property is quotient property log a over b can be written as log a minus log b all are having base 10 log means base 10 so what i am going to write log cortex and log tan x in this case i will be getting log cortex means let me write here log cortex will be log cos x over sin x now you can see by this property of logarithmic we will apply and it will be log cos x minus log sin x so let me write it is log sin x as it is no change bracket log cos x minus log sin x cot is cos over sin so it will become log cos x minus by this property of logarithmic plus 4 times log cos x as it is and log tan x i will write tan is sin over cos so it will be log sin x minus log cos x equal to right side will be as it is log sin x log cos x now check right hand side having log sin x log cos x so you can see this term so it will get cancelled out once i will open this bracket so i am cancelling directly to reduce its size actually okay so once i will open then it will get cancelled out i am cancelling inside the bracket directly now what is left that is our required terms it will be as it is so i will open that minus log sin x into sin x so minus log sin x whole square plus 4 log cos x log sin x so let me write 4 log sin x log cos x minus 4 log cos x whole square you can see log cos x log cos x so it will be minus 4 log cos x whole square equal to 0. Now because of you can see it is minus sign here, minus sign here. Let's multiply this equation by minus, minus 1. So equation will be log sin x whole square minus 4 log sin x cos x 
log cos x minus 2 log I am taking 2 inside the bracket because it is 4 so 2 square will be 4 equal to 0 and see if you will multiply by minus then it will be plus now this is very important step let us take to the next slide I have to write it again log sin x whole square minus 4 log sin x log cos x plus 2 log cos x whole square equal to 0. Okay, now see this is log sin x whole square. So let me write a square. Consider in your mind it is a square. This term is 2 log cos x whole square. So this whole term is b. So it is b square minus 2. You can see now log sin x into 2 log cos x. Now you can see it is a square plus b square minus twice a b. So ultimately this term will give us a minus b whole square. What is a log sin x minus 2 log cos x whole square is equal to 0. So once this is whole square is 0 that means log sin x is equal to let me change it. I will write log sin x is equal to 2 log cos x. In other words log cos x whole square or cos square I can write either way we can write. Okay, by which property log of a power b can be written as b log a. This power can, can come to the multiplier means multiple or vice versa also. So here this 2 will go to the power. Now both sides you can see log of a equal to log of b that means a is equal to b. So it will be sin x is equal to cos square x. So next step you can see sin x is equal to cos square x means 1 minus sin square x because we know the identity sin square x plus cos square x sin square theta plus cos square theta it is always equal to 1 very common and general identity in trigonometry now take all the terms to the left side so sin square x plus sin x minus 1 equal to 0 now you can see it is quadratic in sin x so a equal to 1 b equal to 1 c equal to negative 1 so i will write sin x is equal to minus b plus minus square root b square means 1 minus 4 ac so plus 4 over 2a so 2 so ultimately this value will come out root 5 minus 1 over 2 and minus 1 minus root 5 over 2. Now see one important point that is this term will be always negative and as we all know sin x lies in between the range of sin function is minus 1 to 1 minus 1 to plus 1. 
it lies in between minus 1 and plus 1. So root 5 is 2.23, 2.23 and 1. So it is minus 3.23 divided by 2. So it will come out, this value will be minus 1.61, which is not in its range. So we will reject this. So only one solution is there, that is sin x is equal to root 5 minus 1 over 2. It is not golden ratio. It looks like in golden ratio, this equation used to, here you will get minus sign. Then b square minus 4ac, that will be root 5 plus 1. So ultimately, this is coming out root 5 minus 1 over 2. So this is our required answer. If you want to calculate in terms of decimal, then we can put 2.23 minus 1 over 2. It will be 1.23 over 2. So its value will come out 0 0.61. That means sin x is equal to 0 0.61. It is one of the subjective question and this way we will find out. I guess this is the simplest way. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe my channel if you like my video and thank you so much for your support so far.